Millennials, what was the most middle-aged thing you caught yourself saying recently? Calling a 21-year-old guy a kid. I was so annoyed in my 20s when people treated me like a child. Now I'm 31, hired an intern, aka fully grown 20-year-old man. I find myself saying, he was a nice boy. Deadpan face. Started calling my co-workers kiddo, they're 19, I'm 30, realized I'm too old for this job. They just don't make them like they used to, them being good wood dressers. Dude, hardwood furniture is like a gazillion dollars, and putty pressboard furniture is cheap poo and also too expensive. I got a plastic folding table and put a tablecloth over it. Oh well lol. I was eating lunch with a co-worker last week and she was bitching about the weird clothes her parents wore in high school. Jinkos, wallet chains like four feet long, some other stuff, but as I'm listening to her I realize that she's describing my high school experience so I ask her, how old are your parents? Ugh they're 40. I'm 37, turning 38 in two weeks. After I told her that we both got really quiet and changed the subject. Someone please help me. I'm not ready for this. No longer being the youngest at work. It's a bitch. I'm 38, unmarried, child free. And it blows my mind I could be the mother of an elder teenager if I had children when I was younger. I just don't see myself as that old yet. Same. I have a nephew who's 14 but even that doesn't make me feel too bad because his mum, my sister, is 6 years older than me. No. I'm okay. It just takes my back a little while to loosen up in the morning. I'm going to pass on some wisdom from 50. Exercise your core. I had a bad back for decades. If I'd start doing crunches the pain would go away and I was more limber. The best shape I was in was at 45. I ended up in brain rehab for 4 months. Since they can't really do anything for the brain but test if you're getting better, I spent my mornings in a balance class and core class. That 1.5 hours 4 days a week was the best thing to ever happen. 5 years later I've lost most of the gains but when things feel bad I start to exercise my core. Use it or lose it. Being stiff and sore at any age sucks. It doesn't take long to do some crunches once a day before getting out of bed but the results are amazing. And, invest in massages. I spent thousands in a couple months after years of abusing my body. The difference was worth every penny. I thought my elbows were shot. Nope, mostly upper back tension. Your back gets better throughout the day. I can barely bend and I'm only 19. Edit, forgot to mention scoliosis runs in the family and I have it pretty bad. Had a riveting conversation with some friends about the best office chairs for lumbar support. What was your conclusion? We're fans of the Steelcase Leap V2 if you've got money to burn, and the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2 if you're budget-minded. In a conversation with a friend, I managed to find a really good knife block recently. Our knife block was recently lost in a fire, so could use nice block links. Edit. Holy crap I did not expect this many responses. Fire was not major. Slow cooker caught fire while empty, and the side of the knife block, wood, caught. Minimal damage. Also, there were a lot of great knife block suggestions, so thanks, strangers. Sorry to hear that anguished. It's this one, link. Edit. Just to reiterate, I'm not endorsing it particularly, only that I bought it recently and I thought it was a clever design when I was talking to my friend. Apparently the Amazon reviews, and comment below reviews are, not all amazing. My housemate. You want a drink? Me. Nah, man. I haven't had a drink in, six months maybe? More? My housemate. You stopped drinking? Me. I'm not sober or anything, it's just that alcohol makes me sleepy. I had my bachelor party in Vegas recently. I went to bed because I was tired, not because I was sloppy drunk like every other time I went to Vegas. FML I'm old now. I told this to my doctor recently. I never get drunk anymore because it's physically impossible. Halfway through my second beer all doze off on the couch. I slept wrong and haven't been able to turn my head for three days. I slept wrong a week ago and there's still a kink in my neck. That classic dad groan, when standing up. I like to exaggerate it so it sounds like I'm making a joke rather than actually struggling. 62 here. It hurts rising every single time. But I am still fighting gravity. Go to the gym, cycle, swim and jog so I can still play soccer and ski. But if I didn't exercise, I wouldn't be groaning when getting out of that chair, I'd be stuck in that chair. 
My knees hurt. My knees hurt. My elbow hurts. I get up at 4 a.m. to go to a job that doesn't pay me enough. I got bills that cost too high. I got a mortgage to pay off. But on pretzel day? I like pretzel day. While at home depot. Oh yeah that's some good lumber. Wow, check out Mr. Moneybags here, buying lumber, at these prices. Price? Have you seen the grain on this bad boy? Scrolling through my Spotify and constantly asking who the hell are these people? And why do they keep moving buttons around? Everything worked great the way it was. What's this? You want me to use asterisk swipes? Asterisk. The F are swipes. You're Spotifying wrong. Spend a week or two looking up your favorite artist, then start building a library and playlist from your Discover Weekly and your daily mixes. You won't recognize the names, but about 30% of what you get will be new stuff that sounds right, so you won't care. This is how I found a bunch of stuff I like, like Devilskin, Falconer, Threshold, Charon, The V Union, Unisonic, and Jonathan Young. M. I saw a few teenagers out in short skirts and light tops and I turned to my partner and said, Jesus are they not freezing with not a coat between them. I am old. Edit. For those asking, I am indeed Irish. Dub but not living there anymore. I saw a mannequin in Target wearing a very short jumper dress and said, out loud, this is so short. Who can wear this comfortably? It wouldn't even pass the fingertip test. My husband laughed at me and just steered me away so we could pay for the new bin I wanted for my compost. I have become that lady and I am ashamed. I can't fix one thing in my house without at least 15 minutes of complaining about the previous owner's handiwork. The older couple that we bought our house from were named Pam and Charles. So whenever we find something crazy we say, damn it, Charles, or, goodness gracious, Pam. And we shake our heads at their handiwork. Also, they had that sticker lettering on their walls about family or whatever. So that went like the week we moved on. As I was taking it off, my husband said, do you know how long Pam yelled at Charles about getting those letters perfectly straight? And here you are, just ripping down his masterpiece. The people who owned the houses before our generation haven't spent their lives using YouTube to learn everything. So while they did things completely wrong, at least they were being ingenious, whereas we have immediate access to demonstration of proper technique. At least that's what I tell myself as I'm fixing the 8th place the last guy used endless paint as a substitute for basically everything you might need to maintain a wall. That's a nice box, keep it. I am looking forward to going to bed. Out of the shower into untouched fresh sheets. That's the stuff. This has always been me tbh. Why do I get up every day and crack like a glow stick without the glow it's so disappointing. Wife tried to give me tooth fairy duties last week. I had him the previous week and found it really difficult to sneak in and out of the kids' room. Between my bones and the old hardwood floor, it was comparable to trying to eat a bag of chips quietly. I was able to convince her to not force me to do it a second time. You want to go out for dinner? Oh no, I can't. I have chicken in the fridge that I have to cook before it goes bad. Lol, this is me now. I paid a small fortune for that chicken and I remembered to take it out of the freezer to thaw. No way in hell am I letting it go to waste. F you. Stop hurting my soul. Oh no thank you. I can't have caffeine this late in the day or I'll never get to sleep tonight. My spouse was offering me the last soda from the fridge. It was 1 p.m. Plus one on this. For me now the timing doesn't even matter. If I have more than two cups I'm up all night, I could finish them by 10 a.m. and it still happens. Why is the music so loud in here? I've been saying that for 15 years. I may physically be a millennial but I've the soul of an old fart. I was saying that when I went to my first bar at 21. Bars aren't for everyone. I'm 33, not quite middle-aged, but circumstances last year forced me to live on the campus of the local university I was attending to finish my bachelor's. I got to know a few of my neighbors, who were all in their late teens, early 20s, and one day while I was just lounging by myself, I put on System of a Down's toxicity for some nostalgia. It didn't hit me until after Chop Suey was done that most of the people on campus were younger than that album. Oof. Oh no. I was very excited to buy that CD when it came out with the physical paper gift certificate I received for my birthday that year. Good lord this is worse than convincing my young cousin that yes, I really did own a flip phone until I was halfway through college. Tangential. 
but a similar, oof, moment that hit me the other day. There are American soldiers in the Middle East right now, fighting the war started by 9-11, who weren't even alive for 9-11. I'm technically a millennial, but I straddle that Gen X boundary. After recently installing a replacement security camera, I saw in the saved footage some kids repeatedly riding their bikes and or playing in my driveway, occasionally hitting the shrubs that line the driveway and scattering gravel, compost around. I found myself ranting to my wife, wanting to know why these kids were constantly in my driveway, and wanting to know why their parents were not doing a better job of watching, teaching, disciplining them. Then I froze, and realized, I'd become that guy, that old guy, it has sparked an existential crisis. Goddamn little poos. FYI, for Americans, the divider between Gen X and Millennial is if you remember the Challenger explosion. If you were too young when it happened to understand what was going on, or to remember it now then you're millennial. Wanted to buy a snack and then thought, no, I have food at home. This was sad. I feel like this is an upbringing, finance thing more than it is an age thing. I've had this mentality the short years I've had access to my own money. I was venting to a co-worker about these noisy bastards living next to me. I actually said the words, goddamn teenagers and their Bluetooth machines. I stand by my admonition but man it was my greatest age leap forward since I embraced the sensible Toyota. I'm only 24 and I also can't effing stand noisy neighbors. I get it, we all listen to music. But using a speaker system with subwoofers and turning the bass way up so your apartment turns into a mini dance club while you share walls or ceilings with other people is just douchey. I don't want my floor to vibrate. Toyotas can be comfortable though. And so reliable. I slapped a crate I had strapped onto the back of my car and said, this isn't going anywhere. I worked at a Christmas tree lot and I would say that almost every time I would tie a tree down to the roof of a car. But something tells me you click your tongs twice before grilling as well. Can the kids in the park outside shut up? I am the grumpy old lady now. What are those kids doing? With a ball and a stick. Who's parking in front of my house all day? I'm turning into Gladys Kravitz. Not something I said but I just stood out on my porch this morning drinking my coffee and someone drove by pretty fast and I thought, that's way too fast. I'm waiting for a good opportunity to get the license plate of a huge truck that keeps going like 50 miles per hour through my apartment complex day and night. I don't care if it makes me old, kids and animals live here and that truck could kill someone. Oh look at you with your porch. Edit, wow. All these awards. I don't even know what they mean ha 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 thanks people. Edit 2, wowwee more awards. What is this? Guys don't give me any more mana, spend it on the homeless or abandoned cats or something. Thanks laughing face. When my wife asked if there was anything she need to pick up at the store, and I responded, I think we're out of asparagus. Not sure what foul demon possessed me to to say those words. Age is giving in to buying asparagus, wisdom is learning how to cook it so you want to buy it. I'm so pleased with what a bargain this fleece was. A. I now own fleeces. B. I really was very pleased. C. It's a cotton trader's and I got it for two pounds from a charity shop. I've loved fleece since I was a teenager, if not earlier. Who dares claim that it's an old person thing? Quit touching the goddamn thermostat, you're driving the bill up. I'd quit it if my husband would agree that 63 asterisk F inside isn't a reasonable temperature when he's married to someone from Australia who is cold from September through June. I had a classmate who was probably just old enough to drink ask me if I knew what a meme was. I almost died. I'm 30, not dead. I will never financially recover from this. Said after turning off yet another light left on in my home. I had a great grandfather who abandoned his family and went out to the wilderness and live in a cold, dark cave. Every time I walk towards the thermostat, turning off every light on the way, and dial the temperature down 5 degrees, I think to myself, I get the urge. This is why I can't have nice things. I say as I pick up the plastic cup of pens my cat knocked over. I can't have curry after 6 or I'll have heartburn all night. I was giving my sister-in-law a bag of skirts that I am too old to wear now and I reminded her to wear them with some nice and cozy stockings. As the weather is still bad, those skirts are very short and we certainly do not want her to catch a cold. That's so sweet. Listen to me, you are never too old to wear a cute skirt.
It is sad, but it's time for pencil skirts and the whole, sexy but classy, look for me. My beautiful sis-in-law deserves them more now smiley face. Oh babe, check out these new balances. You know which ones I'm talking about. The all white with the navy blue, N, that you find at Marshalls or at Ross for like 25 bucks that all suburban dads put on when they're doing yard work. I bought them last Friday. Did yard work on Saturday morning while wearing them which paired nicely with my khaki cargo shorts and tucked in moisture wicking polo shirt and a white baseball cap. It didn't dawn on me that I'm that suburban dad with the new balances until I saw my reflection in the minivan window. Then I stood outside in front with a beer can in my Yeti koozie while admiring the clearing where WDS once stood making dad noises like, yep, or, mmmhmm, and, that's going to need a coat of paint. I've become that guy. You had me cracking up with the new balance plus khaki cargo combo. When I toss this combo on with my Oakley blue light blocking shades, I feel like I'm acquiescing into a role that I was meant for. Keep your kids' toys off my lawn. To be fair though, my landlord sort of forced me into that situation by telling all the tenants that if there was anything found on the lawns when the guys came to mow, we'd get fined. Their kids throw their toys everywhere on the block and I got fined $50 for some toy their son threw on my lawn. I think enough people got fined and complained to the landlord that the toys weren't theirs though, that family is the only one with kids that are constantly running around outside, and the fine got dropped. Sounds like free toy hostages for $50 to me. Working at a high school, I referred to virtual learning as Groundhog Day, and got blank stares. I wasn't surprised they hadn't seen the movie, but definitely didn't realize they didn't even understand the phrase and what it meant. It was in my head but I was taking a walk at night and decided to go around a park as opposed to through it because there sure are a lot of youths in there tonight. When you leave a room, turn the light off. I've become my dad. Oh no not that one. Where's the good stapler? Two. I own two staplers. I tried listening to the iTunes Top 100 yesterday for a change of pace and it all sounded like hot garbage. What are kids even listening to these days? Am I out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. I read the other day that millennials rock music is now considered classic rock. I'm too old for this poo. U u u u u u u g h can you even imagine it though? We're all gonna be a bunch of geezers moshing to sugar. We're going down and what's my age again? I said to myself, or rather thought, yeah that's right, when my 14 years old niece called me, sir. These damn kids no longer push their chairs under the table when they get up. It feels like an entire generation wasn't taught this basic courtesy. I don't really like to get plastered at parties anymore. It's just not worth feeling like poo for the next three days. I'm only 25 guys WTF. The day you turn 25 is the day it starts. For me, and most people I know, it was literally overnight LMAO. Where TF sells this particular type of cheese? I tried four supermarkets. It's made in my country. I don't understand why no one sells this cheese. I once spent way too long at a local grocery store because most of the chain, over the past 10 years or so, starting getting a bit too cute with their layouts. What I wanted was simple, a block of Monterey Jack cheese. My usual store, which is part of a different chain, has cheese in three places. There's cheese at the deli, there are some specialty cheeses in a case next to the deli, and your typical blocks and shredded bags are over by the milk. But at this store, cheese is apparently a very big deal and could not be contained in a normal manner. I searched in five different locations around the store that had cheese. I could not find Monterey Jack. I was even prepared to shell out for some, artisan, Monterey Jack just to get out of there, but I guess there's no such thing. Too pedestrian for the three specialty cheese cases I guess. And not a deli cheese. I asked. The other location, which was by the milk, only had the prepackaged slices. I would have settled for that, but Monterey Jack is not something that gets sliced I guess, too soft. I asked another employee, who admitted without my prompting that the new layout was stupid and confusing, and she directed me to another area of the store, a sixth location. I couldn't find cheese anywhere near where she pointed, so I went back to the artisan, cheeses and grabbed something that seemed like Monterey Jack, for about 4x the price, just so I could get something. As I was waiting to check out, that employee came and asked if I found it. I said, no, defeated. She handed me a block of Monterey Jack in a normal package like you would find anywhere. 
I asked where she found it. She pointed to the same area she directed me to before. I'm not convinced there's any cheese there. I think this store bought more specialty cheeses than they could move so they hid the normal cheese so people like me would get frustrated and buy their overstock out of exhaustion. She must have felt bad and snuck one of the normal blocks out from the back. Whenever I cook anything on the grill, I double squeeze the metal tongs upon picking them up just like my dad would do. I can't use the metal tongs until I hear the sound of the metal ends clanking together. Gotta check if they work. When is this housing bubble going to pop? I want to refinance, but don't want to if the interest rates are going to drop right after. Edit, I have to say I'm proud of Jump starting such a huge middle-aged discussion on interest rates and refinancing. More like, when is this housing bubble going to pop? I don't want to live in apartment my whole life. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day, so be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.